at it again and uh what's up family we've got an interesting one today that you know i found very very um surprising to say the least because in today's society what you are about to hear being said today's society makes it so that you are not allowed to actually say it right so kick back probably don't want to drink because you might spit it out in surprise but you, you can eat a little snack don't don't have a drink though because when, when you hear what is about to be said you will be shocked let's dive in trans women should be legally treated as women three two one this is obviously very complicated uh three two one go okay so strongly <laughs> You can so you're certainly welcome to you're certainly welcome to clap for everyone, sir. That's that's fantastic. I love that. Enth I love that enthusiasm. And you're even welcome to clap even when nothing is happening. OK, so, you know, I love this exercise that he does on his YouTube channel. I'll leave the link down below. A lot of times I forget. Y'all just just remind me I'm a forgetful person. I'll be trying to get videos uploaded. Plus, I got a lot of other stuff going on. So forgive me, please. But this exercise ask people a question and then they are allowed to answer on a scale from you know uh they're neutral to slightly agree agree and strongly agree and then the same thing for you know disagree slightly disagree disagree and strongly disagree i believe those are that's the gist of the scale so as you can see one chick went over to the agree line the other two people went to disagree and the lady right here in the background is at strongly disagree. And that is who we are about to be highlighting here in just one second. Check this out. Trans women should be legally treated as women. Tell me why you're strongly disagree. Because I'm a molecular geneticist. Well, I'm not even... <laughs> did, did, did you hear the crowd? Ooh, oh, uh-oh. I'm just trying... <laughs> Everybody else is clapping. Okay, so tell me, tell me what that because I'm not a, I know, I count on my fingers. I know nothing about genes. Being male or being female is a developmental process. You can't go backwards. Okay. So you can't change your sex. Like you cannot do that. And the truth is that currently in California prisons and prisons in other parts of the country, women are getting impregnated by other women and there's just no way that I mean, this is against the UN I, when after World War II there was like a I don't remember what body came up with this um, statue but it was against I, I believe it was the Hague you, you cannot house female prisoners with male prisoners because they get raped and that's happening today and it's not in the news. It's not in the common news. Uh, okay. But I know about it. So so that... I want to say we might have touched on one of those stories a while back. Like, it was, like, part of a video that we were checking out. I can't remember exactly. But I do remember hearing about, you know, some of these stories, you know, of, of women impregnating other women. <laughs> Which is impossible. We know what that actually is. Um, and you know, I said it that way because she said it the, the exact same way as well. Women are having kids in a women's prison. Two women, two biological women can't do that. It's impossible. That does not exist. So obviously there's a guy in there, but of course we're not allowed to, to see it. We're not allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to even ask questions about it. So from a molecular geneticist or yes. You heard it right there. Not for me. Because, you know, the, the, the retort when people say this, well, are you educated on this topic? She is. Just saying. And it doesn't, it, and it doesn't mean, and I, I, love, I love this argument too. I love this argument too. We've heard it. Whenever you speak out against people, it's automatically, oh, you hate them. Oh, you're, you're, you're a phobe. You're an ist. You're, you're this, you're that. And, a lot of people in society have caught on to the to the charades, have caught on to the game. That is just a trick to get people to shut up. They know you don't actually hate them. 
they and, and, and these politicians that that try to that try to push forth that that uh you know that line of thinking they know you don't hate those folks they just don't want you to question anything just follow in line turn into a zombie and follow us you don't ask any questions you just follow that's what they want and uh you know i'm happy society as a whole is starting to catch on to that trick don't hate these individuals why would i hate them she's just speaking truth but of course that's that's bad you can't say that it's crazy anyway let's continue on what's the argument for so you're i just want to make sure i'm clear about this so your argument is because you have domain specific expertise as a molecular geneticist and then the legal component of that is you're grounding that in your experience of what a man is and what a woman is. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I just, this bothers me so much. Well, that's why we're talking about it. I, yeah, I know. I just, my heart pounds and I just, you know, I go to the women's, I go to the women's changing room at my gym and there's a dude in there. He's putting on makeup and hoop earrings. And this is not something a woman does when she goes to work out. And it's uh, yeah. what am I going to do? Well, so I know nothing about what happens in women's rooms. And she can't do anything about it. What is she going to do? Escort him out? He beat the crap out of her. We've seen MMA fights with, with men against women. We know how that plays out. Not to say that there isn't a woman that couldn't beat a man, but on average... When you have a man and a woman, the man on average is going to be bigger and stronger than the woman. So if you have them engaging in any type of physical activity, the man is going to win nine times out of ten. Of course, you're going to have your outliers. Of course. But outliers don't make the rule. That's an exception. Right? Or exceptions don't make the rule, I think is the actual saying. You, got, you guys got what I meant by that. And you could see how like emotional she was getting about it. Like she was like, my heart's pounding and, you know, her voice is shaky. And, you know, she, she almost sounds like she wants to cry. Why? Because society has told this lady that she's not allowed to say what she is saying. She's not allowed to trust the science. She's not allowed to say facts. If she does, she's she's hateful. She's having all types of physical responses, voice shaking, hearts pounding, looks like she's about to cry. Simply just speaking the truth. In America, she's having that. That shouldn't be America. We should be able to speak truth. We should be able to voice our opinions without worrying about getting ridiculed or shamed or or having some type of false label placed on us. Oh, you're a phobe. You're an ist. You're this. You're that. You're... Be or be canceled. What do y'all think, man? Talk to me, please. <laughs> so, uh, so that's the behavior is not common in women's rooms. No, nor do women beat each other to death, but men do. You know, and it's just it's so sad that women have internalized misogyny to the point where the man's comfort is takes precedence over the woman's safety. There's a reason mm. why they don't want to be in men prisons because men beat each. People at UC Berkeley clapping? Whoa. <laughs> hey, the woke boys and girls, they in trouble. You got people at UC Berkeley clapping for that? She should have been booed off the stage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The woke revolutionaries, them social justice warriors, they in trouble now, y'all. They are in trouble. Other to death. Women don't do that. <sighs> Were you convinced by anything she said about putting men in women's prisons? I have a rebuttal. Please. Um, with all respect, too, because I'm an aspiring molecular geneticist. Um, oh. Oh. I want to say that your argument is really geared towards men identifying as women. But what about the other way around? woman identifying as men. So you're asking her thing. if she, I, I want to make sure I got this right. So you're asking her if she has a problem with 
women going into men's prisons. Yeah, or men's changing rooms, um, going to gyms. And doing Actually, I want to say there was a, a, a MMA fight that involved that as well. A, a biological woman who was transitioning to be a man and uh, stepped into some type of fighting ring, an MMA fight or something, and got pummeled by the biological male. Just saying. Just saying. So that, yeah. Women cannot force a pregnancy on a man. You buying that? <laughs> you are? Okay, so... What would you, what would it take you to move from agree to slightly agree? Like what argument would you have to hear? What piece of evidence would you have to hear to move one line over? I like, I like the fact that he asked that question. You know, he doesn't ask them, hey, what would it take for, from, for you to go from agree to disagree? What would it take for you to go from agree to slightly agree? Just, just one line, just, just one touch over, you know? I like that. That that that's a that's a great way of um engaging with folks. I feel like that that creates more engagement versus, you know, saying agree to disagree. Like that's just too far of a jump for for most folks. I mean, I want to know specifically why legally it matters. Um I mean, I, I'm, I consider myself like pretty open-minded when it comes to these things, so I guess I would move over slightly agree. I, I just personally feel like in my heart that... I'm playing this part because she says something that's really, really interesting right here that I want you guys to hear as well. It doesn't matter legally who someone or what gender someone is. Is it better to make that decision in your heart or in your head? Is it better to make that decision okay, on the basis of the way you feel or on the basis of argument? Um, but... I think having empathy for other people is also important. And there are reasons to have empathy. Yes. And there it's better to make logical decisions based on your heart and not your head. Can your heart play a part in some decisions? Yeah, sure. But when it comes to placing biological men in prison with biological women, come on, let, let, let's be real here. I mean, we, 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 we've seen the results. I know mainstream media doesn't want to put that out there as much we get it we know why but it's happened and happening biological men are in prison with biological women and guess what's happening oh what do you know pregnant women huh how'd that happen i don't know you guys got an idea i don't i, I, I don't know all right uh we're gonna skip the rest of that and move on to the end part of this video. What, if anything, would cause you to move to the disagree? And is there anything you heard here tonight that would convince you to move one line over? It's okay to say no, I'm just trying to figure this out. No, I have figured it out. And you're confident? I am as confident as I am that this is my hand in front of my face instead of yours. There is absolutely this is the most insane thing that has ever happened to me in my life that women are a feeling now and that you know as, as for the driver's license thing if a man is who has tra transitioned has F on his driver's license and then he gets arrested they're going to put him in a cell Correct. with women and his hands are stronger, his body is stronger, and he can beat that woman to death. Wow. Wow. Now we need you. Wow. Wow, hold on. You can come next. Wow. Wait, so what you're saying is, is a good case for why we should maybe have a category that specifically says trans woman, not just female suddenly. Right. So so the designation is, you know, this person is is not male anymore. They don't you know, they whatever lost their parts and have done hormones and transitioned as far as they could. Right. And but they're still not male fully uh, or, you know, you mean, they're still not a woman uh, that are trans women. It's like a separate category. Okay. And, so, and, and then so, so so, you know, when it comes to sports. Again, I don't, I don't I, there's, I, you, so you move, you, you, yeah. you move, you move. Okay, I'm going to do another, but I want to go to. All right, so we're going to end the video there, but you guys get the, the gist of the situation. 
that lady there was absolutely terrified to say the truth. That shouldn't be the case in America. We should be able to say what the truth is. We should be able to state facts. That is just mind blowing to me that in America today in 2022, someone is, is, is visibly shaking visibly like about to cry talking about her heart pounding and racing just simply stating the truth in 2022 that is the america we live in wow now i i i did garner a bit of hope a bit of you know joy because at uc berkeley which i did not expect there were people clapping in the crowd and quite a few it sounded like a good portion of the crowd was actually clapping i was i was shocked i expected them to boo her off the stage i didn't hear a, not a single boo whatsoever in that entire crowd were you guys surprised let me know in the comment section but you know and, and once again because i do want to state this because it always it always turns back to Oh, you, well, 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 you hate these people. You're, 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 ish, you're, you're, you're a phobe. And it's just like, no, not even close. If, you know, the way that I see it, if I, if I or anybody else truly hated individuals, there would be no conversation to be had. There would be actions that, you know, physically harm people. That's what you do when you really hate someone and you really want to get rid of someone there, there's actions i'm just saying it's wrong obviously but let, let's 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 call a spade a spade when you when you really hate somebody you take actions against them i hang out with a gay couple from time to time but you know wouldn't you think if i hated the lgbtq you know there, there's no chance that i would ever go hang out with a gay couple come on Pfft. what go hang out with them come on. nah could never i could never do that oh no <laughs> it's just like they do it on purpose we a lot of people have caught on to the tactic folks like me and this this lady here don't don't hate anybody the truth is just the truth like it love it or hate it the truth is the truth but y'all let me know what you felt about this one in the comment section below like share comment and of course hit that subscribe button before you go Peace and love. I'm out.